The plan for today was to circumnavigate the Leelanau Peninsula starting in Traverse City, heading to Glen Arbor, Northport, and then back down. It's about 110 miles round trip, which is a pretty comfortable one charge range for my 2022 Zero SRS. There's only one problem. You're at 38%? Yeah. My friend Steve's 2018 Zero DS has a smaller 14.4 kilowatt hour battery, no fairing for aerodynamics, and with almost 50,000 miles on the odometer, the battery isn't in its prime anymore. In fact, it's starting to exhibit the magic charging phenomenon where the battery magically recovers some of its charge just by sitting. You're at 38%? Yeah. I was at 36%, I think, when we talked. Okay. That's usually not a good sign. Anyway, that means we'd be making a few charging stops along the way. But not to worry, the Leelanau Peninsula has quite a few charging options without even needing to resort to RV parks and stealth charging. While I braved overnight temperatures in the 40s in my tent, Steve slept in his Kia EV6 with the climate control on, the dog. After some coffee, it was time to hit the road. With the cold and a fierce headwind taking its toll on Steve's battery, not to mention ourselves, it was time to check out Arts Tavern in Glen Arbor. Arts has had a Tesla destination charger for some time, and as long as the single plug is not in use, it's always good for a charge. Let's see, I hope the light's on. I'm glad nobody's using it. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, the light's good. Armed with a Tesla tap adapter, Steve plugged in and we went inside for some yummy breakfast. It's like the only one in town. That's right. See, I'm at 81%. Fun fact, Arts has a merch store and a lot of shirts with the word nope. <laughs> Apparently the nope joke is, do you take credit cards? And the answer is nope, it's only cash. All right, on to Sleeping Bear Dunes. Hey Carl, are you gonna burn a wheelie here or a burn a donut? <laughs> it's about the only way I can do it. Probably right here, right? Because this thing has traction control. Oh yeah. But knowing me, I'd lose control. Look at the National Park Service has a Tesla. We made a quick backtrack to historic Glen Haven before heading on to Leland. And of course, Steve being Steve, he's got to show off his dual sport shenanigans by riding in the sand. I'm pretty sure these are the same classic cars that I saw in Muskegon on day one of this trip. Along the Leland River as it feeds into Lake Michigan is Leland's historic fish town, one of the last working and thriving fishing districts on the Great Lakes. Native Americans first lived and fished from this site, with European settlers arriving in the 1850s and creating the current fishing village. Although even Steve's bike didn't need a charge yet, we wanted to check out the Red E chargers at the Leland Lodge. Sometimes chargers at hotels are for guests only, but since these are easily accessible by the public and are paid, anyone can use them while visiting Leland. They are about a half mile from the Fishtown district, so it's a bit of a hike. But the Leland Lodge also has a restaurant and golf course. Plug and go, huh? Nice. You, no, you gotta use the QR code. Oh, you do? Okay. You don't need an app. Oh. No, just use the QR code. Okay. It'll bring you to a mobile web interface. Gotcha. All right, let's plug in for even though it's not a car. <laughs> Works. Woohoo! Uh, 6.2 kilowatts. Not great, but it worked. Another success. This is a cool place. It's like great advertising. Went inside. You talk to the people, uh, use the restroom. They have a restaurant and a lodge. 
That's a pretty cool place to stay. Plus, obviously, TV chargers. The launch, food, lodging, cheers. A nice fireplace inside. Restaurants. Looks like they got rental bikes. There's the golf, nice little patio. Golf course. All right, we're on to Northport. Want to check out the state park there. All right, yep. good, good to go. The town of Northport has had level two chargers for some time, but recently they'd gotten some bad reviews on PlugShare since the Tesla destination chargers were apparently tripped and had no power. So as a service to the EV community, we stopped in and thought we should check it out. That power, that's a good sign. Yeah. I just wanted to check it out. Actually, I wanted to see what the Tesla ones are doing. It looks like they were reset and working, so we added a positive plug share check-in. Several Teslas were actually charging there, so of course we had a nice conversation about electric motorcycles with a couple from Ohio. So who makes this? Zero? Zero, yeah. They're out of California. What's the bike weigh? Uh, it's always somebody to ask me that. One million pounds, oh, right. 400 pounds. <laughs> you don't have to look at it. Time to move on to the Leelanau State Park up at the tip of Northport. But first, Steve wanted to check out the Woolsey Airport. He got his bike up to 75 on the runway, but never did get lift. Well, that was fun. The northernmost stop of the day was Leelanau State Park. Hi there. Wow, those are nice and quiet this morning. Nice. So they're electric. Yay. Uh, um, would you see the rec pass? Do you have one? I do. Yeah, you're good. You're welcome to check it out. Okay. You both have one? Okay, great. You go to Red Path? Okay. Nope. Thank, you. Right, thank you. Along with its scenic features like a lighthouse, a rocky beach access, and a sundry store where I could pick up a sticker, this site has two 11 kilowatt Rivian Network Level 2 chargers. These are very similar to the other state park chargers like Holland State Park, Charles Mears in Pentwater, and Orchard Beach in Manistee. Just plug in and go, no app needed, no. RFID card. So for now, not just Rivian, but for everybody. So thanks Rivian, thanks Consumers Energy. And now we're gonna go check out the campground. These would be some cool sets. Hard to beat the view. We were southbound again and had to make one more quick photo op stop at the 45th parallel marker. Steve wanted to pick up some bubbly wine and Bobby Vineyards, which lo and behold has another free charger, was on the way. Again, we didn't really need the stop, but since we're paying customers, why not sip a few electrons? Got a little snack and tried a flight of wine. Not too much, obviously, because we're riding. Steve just plugged into a regular level one outlet because there was a Jeep plug-in hybrid here. But we only have 15 miles to go, so it really didn't matter. Opportunity charge. The owner actually has a red Tesla across the way, and he moved it for me when we came. Final leg of the trip, 111 miles so far today. So we probably didn't need all this charging, but you just never know. And we got a chance to test out a bunch of chargers. One more quick jaunt down M22 to Traverse City and we were back. Steve picked up some fresh Michigan blueberries for pancakes in the morning. Then it was time to chill out by the campfire after a successful riding day. Tomorrow we ride the iconic M22 scenic byway. So subscribe to be notified when that video drops. If you enjoyed this moto vlog and Leelanau charger check, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road tomorrow.